China's Chang'e 6 mission has made history by returning the first ever samples from the far side of the moon. Chinese scientists recently published the first research paper decoding these samples. These unique lunar samples provide new insights into the moon's volcanic activity and early evolution, offering critical information we've never had before. With their distinct mineral composition and geochemical properties, these samples could reshape our understanding of the moon and even our solar system's formation. This discovery isn't just significant, it's a major leap forward in space science. Stay with us as we explore why this research is so important and what it means for the future of lunar exploration. One of the standout features of the Chang'e 6 mission is the unique composition of the samples collected. The far side of the moon has always been a mystery, and now we know why. The Chang'e 6 soil samples have a significantly lower density than those from previous missions, indicating that the far side surface is less compact and more porous. For example, the bulk density is just 0.983 grams per cubic centimeter, much lower than that of Chang'e 5. In addition to density, the mineral content of these samples is also quite different. Plagioclase, a mineral rich in aluminum and calcium, makes up over 32% of the sample, a much higher concentration than in previous missions. On the other hand, olivine, a mineral commonly found in volcanic rock, is almost absent, making up only 0.5%. This suggests that the far side of the moon may have had less volcanic activity than the near side, offering us new clues about its ancient geological past. The sample contains plagioclase 32.6%, augite 19.7%, pigeonite 10.0%, amorphous glass 29.4%, with small amounts of orthopyroxene 3.6%, ilmenite 1.6%, olivine 0.5%, and other minerals 2.6%. But why is this important? Well, these minerals are like fingerprints they tell the story of the moon's past. Higher plagioclase levels suggest a more ancient, less volcanic surface. The lack of olivine could mean that the volcanic activity on the far side ceased earlier than on the near side. In other words, the far side could hold clues to the moon's early geological history, long before volcanic activity shaped the near side into what it is today. What makes this even more fascinating is the presence of lithic fragments pieces of rock embedded in the lunar soil. Chang'e 6 samples are rich in basalt, breccia agglutinate, and even glass. These materials aren't just random rocks, they are remnants of the moon's violent volcanic and impact history. By studying these fragments, scientists can piece together the story of ancient lunar eruptions and meteor impacts that shaped the surface of the far side. Now, let's dive into the geochemical findings, which might just be the most revealing part of the Chang'e 6 mission. You might think lunar rocks are all the same, but the far side soil tells a completely different story from what we've seen with previous missions. Scientists found that the concentrations of certain trace elements thorium, uranium, and potassium are much lower in the Chang'e 6 samples compared to those from the near side missions like Apollo or Chang'e 5. What does this mean? Well, these trace elements play a key role in understanding the moon's volcanic history. The lower levels of thorium and uranium, in particular, indicate that the far side of the moon lacks the radioactive elements that fueled volcanic activity on the near side. This suggests the volcanic activity on the far side may have been less intense and could have ended earlier. These chemical differences between the near side and the far side are crucial in helping scientists understand how volcanic activity has evolved on the moon over billions of years. Additionally, the Chang'e 6 samples are richer in aluminum oxide Al203 and calcium oxide Cao, and they have significantly lower iron oxide Fe concentrations compared to near side samples. These chemical compositions confirm that the far side of the moon is geologically different potentially offering clues about the early stages of lunar formation. Another fascinating discovery is the variation in basaltic fragments in the samples. The local basalts found in Chang'e 6 samples are characterized by low titanium, low aluminum, and low potassium levels. 
This means the volcanic activity that created these rocks was different from the volcanic processes we've seen on the near side, further confirming that the far side of the moon is a geological time capsule of a different era. The geochemical analysis doesn't just stop at telling us what elements are present, it also gives us clues about the moon's early environment. The presence of elements like thorium and uranium in even small amounts could offer insight into how heat was generated in the moon's interior billions of years ago. This heat would have driven the volcanic activity that shaped the moon's surface, especially on the near side. So why does all of this matter? Why should we care about the far side of the moon and the samples brought back by Chang'e 6? The far side holds secrets that could answer some of the most fundamental questions about the moon's formation, its geological history, and even the broader history of our solar system. The moon's far side is largely shielded from Earth's interference. This isolation means that it has been less affected by Earth's gravitational forces and impacts, which makes it a pristine record of the early solar system. By studying these samples, scientists hope to unlock new knowledge about the moon's mantle, the layer beneath its crust. These insights could help us understand not only the moon's history, but also how other planetary bodies form and evolve. Moreover, these samples help us understand the impact history of the inner solar system. The far side of the moon has been bombarded by meteorites and asteroids for billions of years, and the fragments found in Chang E6 samples, such as Brescia and Agglutinate, offer evidence of these impacts. Studying these fragments gives us a clearer picture of the moon's long-standing role as a witness to the solar system's violent past. And let's not forget the future. Understanding the geology of the moon's far side is crucial for future lunar missions, especially as space agencies around the world, including NASA and China's CNSS, a look to establish bases on the moon. The far side offers unique opportunities for scientific research, but it also presents challenges. Knowing more about its geological history and structure can help guide future lunar exploration efforts, from mining resources to building habitats. In this video, we have learned about the groundbreaking discoveries from the Chang E6 mission, which brought back lunar samples from the far side of the moon. These samples are offering new insights into the moon's volcanic history, its impact record, and its geological evolution. We also learned about implication of this on future discoveries and how it can change our understanding of the solar system. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.